Ciao a tutti, benvenuti. Hey everybody and welcome. Sono ad Amalfi. I'm in Amalfi. And last night I went on a tour of the Amalfi Lemon Experience. Look out the window here. This is uh, the view from my apartment slash Airbnb that I'm staying in. And that valley just goes on forever. So up in that valley is their lemon grove where the family has been growing lemons for generations. And in addition to um, the leftovers that they gave me, because we also made pasta and pizza, look at this. I ate a little bit of this this morning. This is the leftover focaccia and pizza that they gave me when I left. So I've kept everything in there because it's so delicious. This is focaccia uh, with rosmarino, rosemary, and a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil. And then this pizza has mozzarella and uh, pomodoro, pomodori, tomatoes. Just incredible. It was made in a wood-fired oven. And um, they didn't use a thermometer. They just, um, Salvatore, just decided when he thought it was warm enough. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. He said the way we test it is we put the focaccia in the oven. And if I think it looks good, then the oven's ready. But he did say that somewhere around 300 to 350 degrees Celsius, and the oven is ready. So, 300 Celsius would be, would be um, you know, six or 700. 300 to 350 Celsius would be six or 700 degrees Fahrenheit. So, before the pizza and pasta class, they gave me a tour of the lemon farm and uh, these lemons are different look at this so the Republic of Amalfi in their trading with the Middle East like 1,000 years ago uh, ended up with these lemons and they were sort of bitter and small and you couldn't eat them you couldn't do anything with them but they started to um, graft them, or breed them, I guess, with bitter oranges that they had at the time, and they developed into this. This is the Sfusato Amalfitano. Sfusata Amalfitana, the Amalfi lemon. So what I'm gonna do is clean this, and then cut it in half, and I'm gonna try to take a bite of it like an apple. So, going down here, Let's see. Look at this beauty. So they're sweeter. They have a little bit of a nice smell to them. Of course, they are still, they still are a little bit sour when you eat them, but um, you can't eat the rind of a, a normal lemon anywhere else like you can one of these. Okay, that looks pretty good. Sure. They don't use any pesticides. They don't use any chemicals with their lemons. So the only thing I'm cleaning off of this lemon is the dirt from where it grew. So, let's do this. I'm not a videographer. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's cut this bad boy into, into uh, two parts here.
Look at that. And now, let's see how crazy this is. Seriously, I should get an award for best videography. Okay, ready? It's tart, for sure, but the rind is not bitter at all. Wow, it's amazing. It's sweet, but it's tart. When the owner's son, Salvatore, was giving me a tour of the grounds, like I said, he said they don't use any pesticides, they don't use any chemicals. They, um, oh, hang on. Mmm. Yeah. Like eating an apple. Mmm. I'll put a link in the description of a Malfi lemon experience, which I highly recommend. My tour started at 4.30. I'm staying in the town of Amalfi. Salvatore came down into the town and picked me up in an electric golf cart. Drove us back. Although in a golf cart from here to there is only five minutes. So they're just up the valley. Amazing. Mmm. It's juicy, it's sweet, it's sour. It's sour, but it's not bitter. There's zero bitter to this. I just opened the kitchen window to get a little bit better light. Look at this. One more video, or one more second here. Let's find a good side to bite. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Here's your seed. Okay, grazie. One, two, two. Thanks, everybody. A presto. See you next time. Ciao.